Let's talk about how to import and export SSIS packages, as well as dealing with things like sensitive information. Now let me just say, this video is part of Chapter 3 in our Integration Services 2008 course. If you happen to be watching this particular video out of sequence, without having watched the previous videos in this chapter, it's fine. However, you may find yourself wanting to know a little bit more information or wondering, gosh, why is this guy going so fast? Well, it's simply because we've covered several things up to this point in this chapter, such as sensitive information, uh, how to secure your packages, and so some of that is assumed knowledge. And you just may want to go back and watch those uh, either after or after watching this one, or you might want to stop this one, go watch those, and then come up to speed. Anyway, let's talk now about importing and exporting. Those of you that have watched the videos up to now, you probably have a fair idea of how to import and export packages. So we've talked about so far the three places that you can save your SSIS packages. The SSIS package store, actually let's put that uh, in a thing here, three ways to save SSIS packages. Uh, one, the SSIS package store, which is really in the file system. Okay. Uh, two, oops, two in a custom location in the file system. Right, you know, like C colon uh, SSIS packages, right, where you define that. And then third, in the MSDB database of a SQL Server. So I want to talk to you in this video about how to import and export from two of these locations, or I guess you could add the third one. Um, I'm really going to focus on how to bring things into the package store. So maybe, for example, you have an SSIS package that someone emailed you or you got off of an FTP. I'm going to show you how to put it in the package store. And then we'll also talk about how to take uh, that same package and put it in the MSDB database. But we're also going to talk about how to go from MSDB to the package store or to a custom file location and of course then we'll talk about how to go from a custom file location to the package store. So we're talking about importing and exporting, right? Okay, well let's get started. Let's first define this package store's location. I mentioned that it's in the file system. Not a difficult location to find. Uh, I'm on an x86 machine or a 32-bit machine and I have mine installed in the program files. And I know I'm going fast, but I'm going fast so that I can bring it up here uh, so you can actually see where I am. So here's my location right here. This is a default 32-bit installation location for the root SSIS folder. This is not the package store. But this is where SSIS stores a lot of the pieces that it works with. You can see connection folders, log providers, which incidentally in Chapter 3 uh, we're going to talk about uh, upcoming. Um, and here, down in the, the very little bit right here, uh, you can see packages. Okay. That is the SSIS package store. Okay. So there it is. Oh man, that doesn't work out. Um, write it like this, and how about this? Okay. That's the package store. It's simply a folder in your DTS installation folder, and that's the SSIS package store. So if I wanted to import into the package store, you know what I could easily do, right? Let's say. Um, like I'll just create a junk integration services project here and again if I'm going fast for you it's because we've covered this multiple times already in the course so you might want to watch the previous videos in the course to get more comfortable with this so I'm going to create my project and I'm going to create a package file oh uh, once it comes up 
let's go ahead and just rename the package to uh, the package and we'll rename the object and I'm going to save this particular file onto my desktop okay. and let's just pres pretend that I got this off of an FTP site or that a friend emailed it to me or I found it on the network and I want to play with it and I want to put it in my package store. All you have to do is simply move it to that location. So I go to the program files, go back to the package store. There it is. Now the package store can be arranged in a hierarchical format. Like I can create um, Oh, I don't know, uh, Scott's SSIS packages. And then I could go into that folder and create packages for this server. And then I could create packages for ETL. Uh, and then I could create, um, I, I don't know, CRM load packages. Like I can make whatever hierarchy that I want. It's just folders. And I now pick the package and I just move it. Let's just put it in the uh, ETL folder. Okay, there it is. Now, have I really done anything all that exciting? Actually, it's pretty, uh, yeah, kind of. I have now put a package in the SSIS package store. I have imported a package to the SSIS package store. Okay. Now, what I could also do, if you want to be able to browse the package store in a more uh, tool-friendly way, let's go to launching the Management Studio. So I'm just using the SQL Server Management Studio, and I'm going to connect to an integration services component. So I'm not going to choose a database engine. I'm going to use integration services. So my integration services happens to actually be on this machine. So I'm going to connect up to it. And you can see right there that we have these stored packages. Now this file system component right here, ta-da, this is the package store. Okay, so it actually is a GUI representation of that file folder system that we just saw. So that's the package store. So now when I'm inside the management studio and I drill down, look, there's Scott's SSIS packages, there's the ETL, and now I could actually run this particular package. Or, you know what, I could export the package from here to some other location. Okay. Now if I wanted to, I could simply right click here and import a package directly into this location. So I could import it and say, well, where does the package come from? Uh, it comes from the file system. I could have gone down and grabbed it off of the file system, and then I would have chosen it, and then I would have located it in whichever path that I wanted to, uh, in whichever folder here. Um, so I can import directly from this screen, but I don't tend to do that. I tend to just drag and drop in the particular file folders. The only time that I would actually use the import package functionality here is really when I want to change the package protection level. So if you're not comfortable with the package protection levels, we've, we've just spent uh, two videos talking about those prior to this one. might be useful for you to go review what those protection levels are, uh, how you would change those, what effect changing them would actually have. Um, down here, let me close back out of this, here's the bottom part down here. So the file system up here is the SSIS package store. The MSDB is the data server right here. So on the database engine, I'm going to connect to my SQL server and I'm going to go to my MSDB database and I'm going to go to the system tables and these start with sys SSIS. And I know that we've looked at these already, uh, but not everybody has seen these. So you can see the packages folder and the package folders. Sorry, the packages table and the package folders table here. This is where they are stored inside of MSDB. So when we are here in the, scroll back up, the integration services, you can see here are the various packages that we've worked with.
and we can choose to import a package into MSDB. We say, I want to import. I, where does it come from? It comes from the package store on this server. And the package here, there's the package. Uh, let's go get the package. Notice it's browsing the exact same thing we saw right there. And give it a name. And now I change whatever protection levels that I need to. So we'll give it a password. We'll encrypt the sensitive information with a password. And we've now imported that into MSDB. And if we go to the query and we query that server and we take a look at the MSDB, scroll down. Scroll down. You can see I have a couple of packages here. There is the package. And if I scrolled over and we take a little deeper look at this one, uh, you could see it was just added. Today is the 9th of October. Um, you could see the folder ID that it is placed into. Now that folder ID I could then take and track back to the package folders. So this one is CCF5, right? So let's see where um, PF dot folder ID equal here. And so it turns out that it is in, in <coughs> excuse me, a folder named learn it first dash 10, which is a child folder of the parent folder ID zero, which if we come back over here and look, zero is the root this is zero 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 okay, right there it's the root so that's the zero 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 blah 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 and this then is ccf 5 a etc hey learn it first 10 so it's in the ccf 5 a folder okay so exporting and importing is not difficult i can now just say i want to export the package so if i'm dealing with an, a, a server uh, that stores all the packages in MSDB and now I want to migrate that to a new location I choose to export it I want to put it in the file system and I want to put that on the desktop call it the package and uh, encrypt sent don't save any sensitive so don't save the passwords and now we've just put it back onto the desktop here so it's fairly easy to import and export your SSIS packages. What's more important, I think, is just knowing what the package store is and how it all works.